What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Trucker's Life, if you're new to the channel, welcome, if you haven't been subscribed, welcome back, and as y'all can hear, I'm having a little issue with my parking brake slash ABS system, and I know what's going on already, because I already um, worked on this one time on this trip, and uh, let me show you guys, well let me explain first, when they replace, if y'all can, okay, see, so it kind of stops and then the traction control stuff comes on, if y'all can see that. And um, then it stops beeping or, or chiming or whatever you want to call it. Um, so, what's going on is that whoever replaced this windshield last, which was the people from Salt Lake City, um, obviously didn't seal the window correctly. And... Um, I'm gonna have to get that addressed when I get back. I don't have anything to do it right now. I need to re-silicone or put silicone or maybe completely take the windshield out, get a new one, put it in here. Um, because what's happening is that it's leaking. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about exactly. So as you can maybe tell right here, it's a little, a little damp right here. And what is happening is that water is ending uh, right in this little area and it's coming through these little screws right here and going into all my wiring back there, which is not good at all. And what it's also doing is that it is uh, going, so it runs down, say all the wiring's right here. Well, there's wiring all through here, but it runs down and the ABS module is actually right behind here. And the way the wires come in, it, um, it'll go into the ABS module and it's getting uh, wet. Um, I'm gonna replace, let me take all this stuff off real quick and I'll show you guys. If you have a Peterbilt 389, this is a 2019. I don't know about any other years or models, but this is how um, they mounted this uh, ABS module, which I think is in a kind of weird spot. I figured it would be kind of like in a higher area and a different pitch, but it's kind of leaning to the point where the wires come, the water comes down and it goes into um, the, the connections there so um, what's gonna end up happening is gonna corrode everything and end up damaging my ABS module and Lord forbid right now any of that happens because you know money is very very scarce at the moment so what we have to do is we have to take these two screws out take this part out and then this right here just lifts you see if I can do it real quick yeah it just lifts out right here real quick Take this out the way and the ABS module is uh inside right there so what i see those plugs right there sorry it's a very bad angle but um i have to remove those plugs clean them and then plug them back in so i could uh you know so i could get back to where i'm not having any of these codes and as soon as i get back to the yard i need to get some silicone to put around all that right there so let me take this apart and I'll kind of show you guys exactly what is uh, going on and how those wires are getting lit, if I can get the camera in there. But first, I'm gonna have to go ahead and turn off the truck and then kill the power to the truck because we do not want any type of, uh, you know, we don't want to foul any, any fuses, any wires or any of that stuff. Luckily on my truck, it has this little deal right here and we kill the power completely and uh now we can get in here and start working on on the truck here um yeah it's really really sucks and with all the rain that we've been having here lately it uh it's just actually showing you know i haven't been in a lot of rain so it hadn't really come up but now that we're getting all this crazy rain right now um it's starting to uh become a problem and it's you know um, i know exactly what it is so if you guys have a peterbilt of this year a 389 pete <clears throat> you can uh this might be a thing um that could be uh happening to you too if you ever get a windshield replaced um make sure that these guys put this stuff on correctly and there's actually a little puddle of water over on the uh passenger side i'll show you guys here a little bit get this thing out man get you one of these if you don't have one of these get you one of these this thing saved my life so many times well i wouldn't say life right but it saved me a bunch of times 
Um, I have a bunch of tools and screwdrivers, but for this job, it's fairly simple just to use this little uh, Leatherman, it was, which was a gift from a good friend of mine. Let me see. So we're gonna have to um, pull this guy out. And there is your your wiring right here. All these wires that are right here in this little this little space right here um, are gonna have to come off. There's little clips on the top. You just press the little clips down and then you should be able to pop them out, but I'm gonna need both of my hands for that. So let me pop them out and then I'll show you guys uh, where it's getting wet. All right, so as you guys can tell, there's moisture um, on this plug right here and there's four plugs. Um, last time I was able to get just the, these first three out, I couldn't get the green one out, but as you can tell, there's moisture down in there and that's what's causing this issue. And uh, you guys know that wiring and moisture do not mix. So I'm gonna clean this out. Um, I'm just gonna blow some air in there, clean it out, dry it off, and then uh, plug them back in. I should be good to go. I'm probably gonna put maybe a rag in here for a little bit. That way um, it'll stop the water from going down in there. Um, I don't even know what else to do. And uh, hopefully it doesn't, it's not going inside the wire where it's going to end up uh, corroding my wires in the future and you already know electrical problems are not problems you want to deal with you rather have an engine problem than you do an electrical problem because those things are as you can see all these dang miles of wires in here to find the one oh lord all right so let's clean these out and then uh we'll make sure we'll check to see if uh it worked out so all right guys so we already got it all buttoned back up I'm gonna turn on our power here and then uh we're gonna hope and pray <laughs> that this is the fix no but more than likely that's what it is i've already done it once so let's uh crank her up now question guys whenever you do um you you turn your key do you actually turn your truck completely on or do you let it cycle i was always taught to let it cycle so that's how i've always done it but i've seen some drivers just jump in their truck and immediately they turn their key and uh crank up their truck i don't know i've heard that that's bad for the computers and all that stuff but anyways let's give her a start and see if that was the issue and there it is that fix the problem right there it's that abs module that's getting wet so those of you that are going through these issues i don't know about any other truck make or model it could be the same thing you never know but on a 389 peterbilt 2019 that's the issue the water is running down the windshield into the wiring down into your abs module and creating some problems all right, fam, hopefully you guys kind of got the gist of what's going on with my truck. And if you're having the same issues on your Peterbilt 389, that could be the problem. Not exactly that that is the problem, but that could be the problem. Check it out. It doesn't take long for you to do it yourself. Check it if it's getting wet, clean it, and then find out where the problem is and then address it yourself. Because if you can do things on your own, just try to do it on your own because you know that it's very expensive to get things replaced on this truck. I just got the um, oil pan gasket replaced and two fittings that go on the side of the engine replaced. And actually I provided them with the fittings, but the oil change, the gasket and the labor all ended up being $1,600. Everything is super, super expensive right now. And it's even more expensive for us that we're not making that much money and there's no work as, at the moment so if you can do it yourself and save yourself a couple hundred bucks get her done driver get her done that being said hopefully you guys were entertained maybe got a little bit of information if you like this video it's totally free to hit that like button to comment if you're not subscribed why not we do silly things on this video sometimes informative stuff be good be safe see you guys on the next video Peace. We're out of here.